What's up, Kane fans? It's the Beast, Brian London, after Miami has clobbered Virginia Tech 36. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm going to toot toot my own horn. Did I just do that? I think I did. Uh, I predicted a 31-7 Miami win. I just had a feeling about this. Been watching Virginia Tech, just was not convinced by any aspect of their game. And I just felt like with all the pressure on this Canes team, the bye week, I really just felt like this team would come out with something to prove, and they did tonight. Um, kind of reminds me of that Canes team back in the day, uh, one of the last years, maybe 2005, when they when they beat Marcus Vick and the Hokies up there, uh, when there was a lot of talk about Coker and all that stuff, and, and, and that team destroyed Marcus Vick. Similar feeling with this game tonight, and you just got to give props to Duke Johnson, the, the offensive line, Gus Edwards, the running game. I mean, Brad Kaya, uh, hey, he was just, he almost was basically just a watcher in this one. Uh, seven for 16, 92 yards, and a touchdown for Kaya. But the best thing is Duke Johnson, 29 carries, 249 yards, averaged 8.6 yards per carry, and the touchdown, Gus Edwards with two touchdowns. The rushing game, the offensive line for Miami just dominant tonight. Never thought I would see that over a Bud Foster, Frank Beamer defense. Good stuff for the University of Miami. How about this? Only four penalties for 28 yards for the Canes. The Canes got three turnovers from Virginia Tech, so plus in that column. It was just a great game for the University of Miami. The defense came out and held Virginia Tech to their lowest yardage all year long. Now listen. Virginia Tech, I'm not convinced by any aspect of their game. I don't think they're very good. They had the one win over Ohio State, and otherwise they've looked pretty bad this year. So, okay, props to the Canes. Huge win. Not going to take anything away, but again, keep in mind, I don't think the opponent was amazing. Now it's time for Miami to go on a little run, right? You've won a couple in a row now. Uh, let's go out and beat North Carolina for homecoming next week. Jim Kelly uh, will be the... Uh, what do you call it these days uh, the, for homecoming? The Grand Marshal of the parade. And he will also be at the Canes game against North Carolina. We'll all wear green. We'll wear our Kelly Tough shirts. If you're looking for a Kelly Tough shirt, you need to get one. And you need to do it right now at All Canes. And if uh, you can't make it down to All Canes, get your Kelly Tough shirt at allcanes.com. And $5 of the prote uh, proceeds go to the Hunter's Hope Foundation, which, of course, is to honor Jim Kelly's uh, late son, Hunter, uh, who passed away. But Kelly himself fighting uh, the cancer and uh, going to make it down for homecoming. So that's good to see. But again, a big win for the University of Miami. And, you know, I know one of the big questions from this one is, oh, did Al Golden leave uh, Duke Johnson in too long? You saw Duke got roughed up towards the end of the game. And... I, I don't think so. I mean, you can, you can play the result and say, oh, why was he in with 24 nothing and he got hurt and blah, blah, blah. You know what? Duke was hot, and I, and I know Duke. And we just had Duke on the Eric Reed show on the ticket the other day, and Duke told us straight up, listen, man, I want the rock. I don't want to – I don't want to watch anyone else tote the rock. I want the rock. So there's no doubt in my mind, even though I'm not in Blacksburg, even though I haven't talked to Duke, no doubt in my mind that that kid – told the coaching staff, just keep, put me back in there, coach. Just keep giving me the rock. That kid wants to play. That kid wants to tote the rock. And I have to admire that. And you could see Al Golden. They showed him on TV. You know, he was making all sorts of faces because he knew he should have had Duke Johnson out. But come on, we're, we're playing the result there. If Duke Johnson runs for another 50 yards and has 300 yards rushing, uh, we all would have been uh, streaking uh, down the street. Uh, no doubt about it. So let's relax here. Let's hope he's okay for the North Carolina game. Also, let's hope Joe Yearby's okay. Uh, I guess ESPN reported that he had a bit of a hamstring uh, situation. Good job by Gus Edwards filling in, but I'd love to see Joe Yearby out there um, as well. So uh, overall, just great win for the Miami Hurricanes, but they need to keep it up in this coastal. Need to get a win next week, 1230 against North Carolina for homecoming. Remember, it's a green out. You wear green. Wear your Kelly Tuff shirt so you can get it all, Canes. And uh, it should be a fun week, right, as we lead into uh, Halloween and homecoming. And then we get a bye week, and then it's uh, bring on the Knolls. And why not Miami, right? Miami beats North Carolina on a little bit of a roll, feeling confident. Why not Miami at home beating Florida State? Why not? Anything can happen on any given Saturday. All right, kids. It's always a pleasure. Hey, props to 
everyone that came out and uh, supported us down at the Sandbar in the Grove. It was a great time. Thanks to the people from Coors Light and everyone for supporting us. We appreciate it. Thanks to the folks at Sandbar for having us. Uh, love being out there with you guys. It was a great time had by all. For everyone at KaneInsider.com, where you can find my stuff every once in a while. And, of course, you can hear me every afternoon on the Eric Reed Show from 1 to 3 and uh, some other times as well on FM 104.3 The Ticket. For everyone at Kane Insider and The Ticket, I'm the Beast, Brian London. Uh, good game by the Canes. Peace. I'm out.